but once in a while, you look like a cool kid when you do it. Either way, we have a lobby ready and set for our game number five. And if anyone ever watches me cast, you know, this is my favorite map to end a series Ooh, on. We are going are. heading into Towers of Doom. Like, I, I, I love this to close out any series. Like, I think it's just a good map overall. It's a fun back and forth. We have good drafts. We have good team fights. There's good rotations. Overall, it's just, it's a fun map. And, uh... I'm going to find out if the teams are ready to go because I'm kind of itching to get on into our final game of the evening and figure out who's going to be winning this. Will it be Sith or the Jedi? Like, I, I'm glad that our also our Sith versus Jedi series <laughs> goes to a game five. Like, yeah, that's awesome. thematic, it's perfect. Very, very... Chef's kiss. Just chef, yeah. Just pacha. All of that good stuff. Okay, so we have all of that set. Um, I pushed the go button, and we should be getting into Towers of Doom here in just a second. So for game number five, we find ourselves here on Towers of Doom. On the left-hand side, it is going to be the Jedi up to. On the right, it will be the Sith up to as well. And this will determine who's going to be taking week seven of the in-house league brought to you by Celebrity Clash League. We do have first ban on the side of Jedi. It's going to be a great man, actually. Okay. I mean, I guess they've been they've been given first pick like pretty much every game, so it comes down to like this actually might be one map that like Sylvanas is not that good on, Ba. Like, there's like there is a map in the game that Sylvanas is not S tier, and this is the map. Like, sorry, I see, I see. I see. Back when back when threatening me in chat, and I'm just <laughs> over here trying to be a good casting boy. Uh, <laughs> I actually, I, I kind of do agree with you because, like, she does have the value because you can see Jin and you can control bottom lane. But once you get control of bottom lane, you need to be able to control the lane, not the towers. You're not, yeah. you're not indefinitely sieging. So, like, siege value is important here, but not, not to the point I think of Sylvanas. Like, Being she banned. still is strong. Yeah, she still is strong, and like, uh, possession still a good talent. Wailing arrow is great. Her mobility is great overall. But like, I think there's other heroes. Like, I mean, if we really want to get into like just siege and control. Let's talk. Let's back it up from one of our games earlier. Sergeant Hammer, like, yeah. There you if go. you can, if you can build a composition around Sergeant Hammer on Towers of Doom, God, it's it's difficult to to get in there. Then you have to pick things like Falling Sword, Joanna. You got to pick uh, Judgment Material. You go and do a new brack for Web Wrapper. You know, s stuff like that, just to shut it down and get into that fight. So uh, we'll see what direction these teams go into. If they want to play aggressive, divey, they want to play more control because those I feel like those are the two most popular directions teams head into rather than you know being hybrids or anything they're just like are oh, we're dive heavy or we're maybe just playing control playing control against this team so that way they can't consistently dive us or you know put put us into an awkward position in some of these fights but first pick coming out probably joanna charmer's been comfortable on it oh okay legacy's like he's feeling he's feeling good about that last game um i would i think he made yeah he made a lot of good stew plays and he he's he's just said like screw it we're just gonna go stew <laughs> um this does like open up again this opens up like a no clean support situation so mm, i would say like true. one shot comps start to come to mind um troy like, actually coming going into vavala this is not something we see regularly but this was a character that i think you know when i look at troy and my past experience playing against him this was one that he played a lot um oh yeah Tro troy's vol is strong and there's there's a lot of good directions you can go into you can go into like the death dealer build you can just go into uh, like like multi shots at possibility hungering arrow we don't see too often but mm. ooh, that's a joanna lee ming mm. Mm, that's 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 nice right there now you were saying also just to kind of we're jumping around a little bit but uh cleanseless composition yep. do you consider the chromie here because like her artillery and poke is really annoying and then temporal loop on anyone it, it's just it's a it's a pick that i think na sleeps on a bit um i actually it pops up in here and yeah here and there it pops up in na but not not too it's not that popular i think that it, it is it's a character that's worth picking um it also stops some engage with your time trap or like your yep. you, you know being able to cc your teammates or cc their yeah, team can, uh, and kind of you can get, stasis uh, them, right? Um, you can get slows on it. You can get armor reduction. Yeah. Sl slows are slows are or slows are increased speed or armor reduction or armor buff. And then there's the ad horal anomaly, which is just the, more, the two extra. More so, of them, yeah. Yeah. So the, uh, like her level four is really really great because of what it offers and what you can change up. And and I like with an ETC, like I could see it happen. You know, power slide. You get you just you sandblast them, mosh pit dump a bunch of sand on him like jana also works really well in this in this category as well you also you have the you have a lot of good poke with her oh but god. madeep hello oh god what's happening 
I what did we what I like, what did we miss? No, what am you like this? What do you what what do you mean? Medivon Towers of Doom, the scouting, the poking, the the portaling to be to get into the backline onto Stukov? I think this is great. You get past the Joanna. That's what you want to do, right? No. Don't you just want to get back to Li Ming? They just drafted Vala. Vala mm -hmm. wants attention. These characters, what did you see? these characters don't give attention. Look, th this is <laughs> this is a real Keg W. This is a real fucking Keg W moment. Keg W, <laughs> Gust, Omega laughing yep. yeah, in the chat. Yeah. Good Medivh, smiles only. Yeah, now smiles now only. now their comp has really come together. <laughs> Perfect. You do make a really good point. There's there was an immediate just like, all right, you're gonna take that. Cool. Here's two counters. Like, come step to us. Lake Fu, by the way. Thank you for the raid. Welcome everyone from Lake Fu's stream. Urel gonna be coming in here. So luckily, a little bit of control. Luckily, the... Liam has Urel and he can just AFK ignore the existence of the game <laughs> lobby, um, and just run around. But like, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know, man. I don't. I, I would, dude. <laughs> The Chromie, I was so hype about the Chromie. And meanwhile, like, how are we even going to sleep on Tassadar existing? Like, come on, just take Black Hole, guys. That thing does so much damage. Like, you want to build yeah, Q Black build. Hole. 800 damage. That's it. 800 damage. That's it. That's it. That's it. Every I did it. And if I can win with it, you can win with it. Look, guys, right? it's proven <laughs> right here. We have it. Look, look beside <laughs> of me. This over here. This man has proven proven us, but this is going to, I mean, I'm looking forward to this. this is game number five. You know, what was it? Last week, I want to say Porky was flexing this Medivh, but then all of a sudden mm -hmm. he he went, uh, what was it? Polybomb. I was a little wild yeah. of him. Can't lie. Against Ethereal with Sanctification. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, game number five. I'm really excited. Looking forward to it. And on a wonderful map, Towers of Doom. Jedi versus the Sith. I mean... Here we go. Uh, looking on the side of Jedi's, Valmar is going to be on that chin. I got Filth on the Falstad. Legacy on the Stukov. Kelsier going to be rocking that Lee Ming skin. Kind of liking that Lee Ming mount skin combo he's got going on there. And Trimmer on the Joanna. And on the right hand side, we got the members of Sith. We are going to be seeing Troy on the Vala. Nintori will be on the Deckard Kane. Jachuggy on the ETC. Vesper will be on the Urel. And we've got Medivh being played by Porky. Let's go ahead and get on into mid lane. Check out what our first engagement's gonna look like here. Um, we actually do have uh, reactive Ballista Spores once again from the Stukov. I, lo I love that talent, because if the enemy team's gonna be diving onto you, you can get that healing out uh, when you fall below 50%, so you instantly spread the weighted pustule. So it's just like, oh, well, I have some extra healing even if it's off cool or on cooldown. Uh, as they actually step in with Tremor, we actually have Urel jumping in here as well as a Righteous Hammer onto one. Legacy's gonna be the target, and they get blown up immediately. The Sith saying, game number four was a fluke. We let you win that because we wanted a game five. Yes, it's coming out explosively here, picking up that first blood, and they also are going to, you know, get the rotational advantage on this map, forcing the Li Ming to go safe way around. She's going to be soaking up under the tower, but she does lose a few globes there. Um, potentially, you know, maybe we get a, 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 a camp invade here. Sly's going to connect on a trimmer. It's Juggy conceding the body block, but the unstoppable, a lot of damage actually connecting on that, Joanna. Probably gonna force the tap. Yep. So she won't have tap, but she does have tap coming into this first camp invade, as we were just talking about um, the aggressive positioning here. Uh, I really like to see it from the side of the Sith. Yeah, they've they've got this invade right now. They're actually using Li Ming's uh, combos to their advantage, letting the camp tank that damage as they throw a little damage in there. Troy finds themselves in an awkward spot. The healing oh is gonna my. come through. They get the portal out, but this will be camp given over. Uh, Vesper, hello, is just like casually like, yo, don't worry, team, I've got this. Protection from the Medivh will be coming in just in time. Nintori trying to throw out potions. They actually jump back onto this. ETC does not have a face melt because there's a lurking arm underneath them. That is going to be them. Oh my god, they're oh still on the point. Gosh. They're somehow surviving. That's gonna be Joanna going down first. Legacy so very low and they actually leave the camp almost give it over and then pick it back up and move over and grab their nope nope they're just gonna <laughs> have to hearth back <laughs> oh man can we talk about like the fact that Li Ming exists too like one reset there baja and that is oh my disaster, god disaster yeah. right like troy living with that little he, he was like walking away it was like it was like when you leave a Sliver. restaurant and they're like yo do you want me to refill your drink really quick? like you as you're walking out the door <laughs> you know like my god no. <laughs> uh wow yeah really oh good god. invade there uh i, I want to say like shout out to liam for rotating and like not shout mm -hmm. out to valmar for sitting top uh you gotta sometimes just sacrifice the top so as we do see the camp here 
Start it up again. We might have a little scrappy do of a fight. Nope. Teams are saying it's okay. We'll just give that. We'll try to soak up these lanes best we can. Yeah, they're gonna hearth back. Get ready for first objective phase. Gonna be up in the next 15 seconds. Triple altar phases. It is always standard here on Towers of Doom for our first one, and um, this will be in the mid and the top left. So the only thing that's random is whether it goes to this mid position or the bottom lane position. They, the left and the right is always in the same spot. Kelsey, are back here though. We do have Medivh scouting out mid. Chen is going to be grabbing the top left. They could go and grab the right side, but it looks like Urel's going to grab that. They're just they're just buying time, I think, for Urel to be able to get the channel. False side actually going to come over here and harass. Do they get here in time? They should have a hammering. Yeah, it's going to delay things out a little bit, but they're going to try and get the channel here with Tori Valmar going to be coming in, and this is just going to be a poke fest between both these teams. Got filled. <laughs> just a Steps forward, steps back. We actually have a fight breaking out down over here over this altar phase. Yeah, it looks like they're going to step into them. Li Ming throwing a little bit of damage. False side oh. actually flies in. Power slide from the ETC catches them right there. Try to find a um, scroll of ceiling and manage to do so. Portal forward as they do have the Raven familiar from the... Uh, yeah, Raven's fam Raven familiar from that uh, Mediva level 4. And Entori maybe getting the channel here. I don't think there's an invade coming out just yet or any sort of poke. Yeah, there's back and a little back and forth here. They needed to kind of do something without false ad flying in, right? Giving up the shrines top. I, I guess at this point it's okay if they continue to poke and, and whatnot, but they decided to give that up, try to deal with the other lanes. They don't want to lose all that top soak. Definitely important. And they have the false ad global for later on, right? Had the false mm -hmm. had like gust, for example, there on that flying and being able to gust things like Deckard and, and Vala into things like Barrel and. Um, you know, bless shield even. Uh, like, those are the windows that they're going to want to look for in the later stages of the game. And for now, they really only have that mean poke, right? Like, that's all that they're possible and capable of doing. Um, so we, we're seeing that. It's just not enough yet. They need that utility. They need a way to deal with the Medivh, and they won't get that until they get their heroes. Yeah, and also just for anyone wondering, Medivh is currently sitting at 26 stacks out of the 40 baseline, uh, 40 on the baseline quest. For anyone that might not know, you might not, you might be new to heroes. If you are playing Medivh and you do die before finishing those out, you lose all stacks. Not like uh, Hanzo or Grimming where you're losing a little bit. You lose everything. Also, that boss or that 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 laugh signifies the boss is up and available as we are five minutes into the game, and this will be uh, bottom lane camp cleared out before it really gets the charge. And we have uh, just you're all doing double soak between mid and top, managing those lanes because Falstead does have a sapper camp. Trying to feed this in right now should be able to get that. Also, Falstead currently sitting at 10% on their bribe. Vesper not going to be playing into this right now as we do have a bottom lane push coming out in favor of the Sith. Ooh, a good chill there from the Thief stops on that poke off in the mink. I will say, I like the new Ming style with the level 4 talent. Uh, that we're not going, you know, just the healing talent at 4 when you get resets. Mm -hmm. Instead, we're seeing this orb talent. It kind of introduces this new fun poke way. Um, where we get to see if, like, a max range orb hits. There's another one coming, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I think that that, I, I like that change to the character. Uh, and I, and I, it's something that is exciting to watch. Uh, as you oh, see yeah. Kelsey here throws orbs that don't hit the wave. He does end up blinking into Troy. I don't know if that's necessarily who you want to be training with him, but he does know that he does see the Medivh mid, so it's like a good window to attempt to try to kill Troy as the shrines are spawn Medivh looking to collect what is his here in the bottom lane on that shrine. Slide coming out. Trimmer unstoppable is proct. Valmar showing up as well, but I don't really think fighting this 910 is where they want to be at. No, no, they're gonna portal out. They're gonna go to the go to the objective. ETC's got zone control. It is going to be a polybomb from Porky, so they're just gonna go for that channel that was the uh, shield glare for one interrupt. And I think that's all they've got. I don't think Joanna's got another interrupt unless they literally step into them. Um, Arcane Rifts th sitting at 35 stacks. Did Tremor step too far forward? Massive shove comes out from the Stuke off just in time. Chen, I think, tried to wander and keg, but they end up gonna get poly more if they're so very low. They end up getting the healing. I can't believe Chen lived through that right there. Urel dives in, doesn't tank any tower shots just yet. Tremor trying to find their way back towards the friendly side of this engagement to chuggy a little bit low. Falstead just free pushing in top lane while this is happening. Portal towards the objective as they want to get this channel before Falstead gets the bell tower converted because that'd be less shots over in favor of the Sith. But another shield glare comes out, stalling things out even further. And I think that should be it. Uh, oh, no. Leeming doesn't get the... Leeming doesn't get the uh, the shots out as they were looking for. And now they just drop a mosh pit. Lurking arm is going to interrupt that right there. And they back off. Yeah, it was just actually, a casual drop. It was an opportunity there. If the Ming had stalled that, I don't think the channel would have happened. Falstad doing his best to kind of get some damage in on this top keep. 
if it if it mm -hmm. does end up falling, there there will be a window of opportunity. Uh, obviously, Urel pretty good at pushing the wave, and that top wave, I think, just by default, I want to say it retakes eventually, just because of the positioning of the minions. Um, but it will open up some opportunity for Gotfilth to kind of play on the map, uh, fly away from the top, and, and and open up you know team fights or picks with the gust right he has taken it I, i'll be honest i i would have liked to have seen him fly in there uh, i do think that there was opportunity but uh choosing to try to get that top keep maybe the experience is what he's after actually right yeah. scaling the game to 20 maybe there's something that they know that uh that we don't um but he is just running it down top still getting those bribe stacks and, and trying to maybe max that out 25% um, for that false dead right now and that bonus go. lightning rod damage as there's a portal forward. I also want to point out the Vala, Troy's got puncturing arrow at level four and they're at 17 out of the 20. That's that's really quick. Eight minutes and nine minutes into a game to have 17 out of 20 stacks. That's pretty good. Oh, Buster's shield's ripped. They're going to be coming in here. That's going to be Polybomb coming out. Massive shove will force her into the wall. Power slide from ATC to get themselves out of there. And so they're going to just have, oh, the Wandering Keg's going to re-engage. They're looking at Porky. They did finish their stacks. So if you are worried that Medivh will lose their stacks, unfortunately, they won't be losing them. Well, I guess fortunately. Depends which side you're rooting for. <laughs> Portal comes out as uh, Kelsey is sitting around 100 health and they're going to be able to hearth back out of here. Alter phase will be popping up in the top left and right of this map and it's gonna be 28 to 36 when it comes to core health got felt looking to take down four of the enemy side but it looks like you all jumps over the wall and she should get the channel these will be traded out so it'll be 24 to 32. And the xp lead finally captured there from the side of the jedis and maybe with that top pressure too they might look to you know i haven't really considered it but play into the bottom keep right maybe try to take that bottom keep hold pressure over that uh and, and win from there uh so Godfield is still just hanging out in the top lane though, Has, hasn't really had a reason to fly off or soak soak anything other than this top lane. As you can see, even the Joanna clearing the middle lanes for him. Uh, I guess, what is that? Probably half health on that top keep right now. Yeah, so, somewhere in there. I can actually look. It's at uh, 6,000 out of uh, 12. It's, yeah, it's 6,000 out of 12,000 roughly. There. Yeah, and it's, go it's going it's going down right now as the you know, False Dead's continuing to push that out, and they're going to be able to grab that right there. We do have the upgrade on the potions. Ooh. There's a Blush Shield ripped by the Joanna right there. Mosh Pit comes out. <laughs> Vol's the first one to go down in this engagement, and there's going to be a portal out for Jachuggy as they just pop themselves. Wait, Wandering Ked Porky uh, should be good. They're yeah. trying to find this angle, but it's not working out as there's a Lord Nader to actually split the enemy team off of this engagement. And yeah, I think they should be Medivh able to portal out. They do get harassed pretty heavily by Valimar. Um, next altar phase will be in the bottom of the map and it's going to be a single one So we should be seeing a nice full 5v5 over that in the coming couple minutes Yeah, and that top keep was taken all of that effort so many sack team fights Just <laughs> slowly dying uh, off of a singular wave I think he will be able to save it for this wave, but Vespertine obviously able to get that armor tank up some structures Oh my gosh, he's going for the solo kill even. <laughs> just playing it so aggressive. <laughs> Medivh scouts, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, we're watching around the map, but yeah, right now we have a single altar in bottom lane. And I'm just like, wait, Vesper, are you going to try and int here? What's, he's, what's got his, he's got his uh, ult. He has his ult. He's kind of baiting. It feels like you're gonna, they're about to pop Arden Defender. Yeah. But either way, um, there's oh, a watering Troy? keg in bottom lane. I know that there's a hearth happening in top, and there's some bait happening, but Troy is getting so split from the team. That's going to be Vala going down. They chase in further on the side of Jedi, and the Sith loses one, just peeking back into the top lane. Looks like there was no hearth by the Falstead, just was a bit of a bait. They don't step forward, and they just rotate over here, grab the experience, and they take the five shots from the bottom lane bell tower. That's going to be 24 to 27 still. A core health advantage for Sith, but they are going to be sitting down a talent tier by about half a level. I have to admire the execution from the Jedi side of just one-shotting this Vala through Medivh. Like, through the Decker Kane, he's taking big potions, right? So, like, Vala is mm -hmm. just totally losing control of her character. And even though she's getting shielded on a lot of that damage, the follow-up and, like, what comes after is just so powerful that she's falling even with gloom up right like uh yeah even with the magic resist it's it's just it's not enough to keep her alive because of how well jedi is executing so i want to take a moment to just kind of applaud them for that right they, they're against oh. a very defensive comp and yet they're still able to find picks 
which is really, really good play. Portal forward. Raven Familiar was triggered from it, but they don't end up chasing further onto that one. Next altar phase is going to be triple. Uh, top lane bell tower was re-grabbed or... Uh, Went back in control yeah. for the members of Seth really quickly. <laughs> Falstead is going to be trying to uh, uh, file another camp in there. You're also going to be rotating up to try and help stop that from happening. Vala has to vault away. They throw another hungering arrow out. They also do, uh, for anyone that is wondering, she did finish the puncturing arrow from level 4. Vadiv has the baseline quest done. ETC at 14 out of the 20 stacks. Joanna has not finished subdue just yet. And those are all the questing talents I do believe we currently have. As I said beforehand, it's going to be a triple alter phase. I expect the top left and the right to be traded out between the false and the URL. Maybe even actually URL may be invading right now. Yeah. I'm going to peek at this engagement now. They're just they're just they're just kind of poking at each other right now. We'll watch it on the mini map. As right now, this massive shove comes out in bottom lane. Tremor stepping into them, but I don't think they're going to try and. This, this team fight's like a little awkward, like how they're coming into this on the side of Sith. Like they need to make something happen because they just keep poking at it. But we'll see what happens here, McIntyre. And I think Yorel is doing a good job of contesting the false side. So we are going to have a yeah. 4v4 down here. He just wants to make sure that he can't fly. A Bless Shield getting a knife on the ETC. The CC is going to be enough. 75% heal reduction there on the Joanna, oh. though. Barrel, will it be able to, uh. to kill Troy? It is not, but he does knock Por Porky away from the portal there. And Portal had just fallen. Porky able to pick oh. up the Li Ming and Portal out. Too clean. Did they Did they get um, They did get explosive. the explosive. What? No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, where are you? The bomb. Arcane explosion. Yeah, yeah, they did. When they... Will of Force expires, deal 100, uh, 162 damage to the nearby enemy, plus 50% of the damage prevented up to one, excuse me, up to 639. So pretty well done right there. Falstead is going to try and get the channel on the left-hand side. Does manage to do so. They actually do uh, stop the channel on the right from happening, but now, now they, then Nintori gets it. So that will at least, it'll be eight shots raining out in favor for Jedi. And the members of Sith will be only getting four shots in their favor. So... This, this game, game is still fairly close. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I, this is why I love Towers of Doom. It's such a good back and forth map. We definitely got ourselves a game here. As uh, Vester Team playing aggressive here. Obviously, he's got the hammer, got the movement speed. Still, his heroic is up as well. Um, the camps, camps coming out from the side of the Sith. Potentially looking to invade here. I think it's a pretty free invade, honestly, yeah. with the URL. Holding down that false out on the top lane. I guess barrel can be used to um, kind of knock them off of the point. They got to be a little careful, actually. It looks like they're giving it up to the side of the Jedi's. I think Vol's Vol's managing bottom lane, so yeah. they, they they realize it's just too long of a rotation. So what they're I like this though setup though. Nintori's just sending out some potions, getting those to the you know the big pot status because they do have to be out for like what two seconds? Yeah, two seconds, and it'll heal for 120 percent more. Face melt from ATC just to push this way back a little bit further, trying to feed in their own sappers. Those won't be going through, and they'll be going down right there. This is uh wow. Chuggy trying to back the back out of here. I mean, those potions that were set up by Nintori are, are going to be in a very nice spot as this uh, Sapper Camp will be coming out in favor for the members of Jedi. Ken, can the Sith actually deal with this as the Arcane Explosion comes out once again? For, yeah, oh, yeah, I think yeah, they'll have the W. Yeah, yeah multi-shot. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I will say that a window that I think the Sith are really looking for right now is at level 20 Far Flight Quiver. Yeah. Um, Vala being able to like act as a front line. 7.7 7 range, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's like, it's very necessary right now. Obviously they can still try to one shot her and they've done a good job of doing that. But I'm seeing a lot of this ETC sliding in and that's not really what he wants. That's not the game he wants to be playing. He wants to be able to W, you know, slide defensively, allow Vala, give the Vala the space, right? That's what I was talking about in the draft. Typically with Vala, you play the protect the Vala comp. Um, and let Herb do all of the heavy lifting. As you see Valmar doing his best to engage on a Troy, the slide is going to miss from Chijunki here. Valmar kind of caught out of position here. As Vester team doing a lot of damage to the back line, but Sukov healing it all up, and that's a... Masha was canceled by something? Not really sure, I think it's Sukov silence. Vester team knocking Legacy out of position. Porky aggressively portaling in. Valmar caught unstoppable there when he drinks. Walking away, Vesper team in the back line as well. But Legacy is found from the side of the Sis, and that is going to be one kill. A shield protecting Troy. Porky taken very low. I don't think that they're going to get anything else here. But the back and forth there from the Chin and the Urel on the back Bad. lines just creating so much pressure for both of them. I just I saw I saw Porky have this kind of big old AOE and I was like, huh, I wonder what that is. Arcane Brilliance. Activate to instantly restore 200 mana to all nearby allied heroes and grant them 15% spell power for 10 seconds. 
That's a, ni that's a nice little buff right there. You're all finding themselves on the far side of this keep. Uh, Falstead is pushing up their top lane, does manage to get that back over in their favor. They're going to back out of this bottom lane as they don't have a wave or anything to push in. And they actually, maybe they're feigning to back off. Uh, Jichuggy also does finish out the... Uh, Proc Rock, so they were just getting one globe per level. They were, they were playing the slow game on that one, uh, just just kind of giving some benefit to the enemy team for a little bit. Now, they are going to be on this camp, and it looks... Is there an invade coming out? No? Does so they're not going to... Look like really? Kid. Yeah. I mean, I guess... Stukov was coming back from Korra, but... Yeah. Hmm. I guess Leg wind tunnel. Legacy's coming back. I think for the side of the Jedi's, what their real win condition here is going to be up to Kelsier. Um, getting those resets on Li Ming, a nice wave of force really uh, could decide a lot of this, a lot of these team fight. And obviously, Joanna having the AOE mosh pit, as I like to think of it, with that bless shield. You know, <laughs> CCing everything casually uh, for two seconds gives Li Ming time to make that wave of force play. And I think Porky's doing a really good job, and you can see in these fights, he is staying high in the sky. He does not want anything to do mm -hmm. with the ground as so long as he has to. Uh, so he's doing, doing a really good job of that to protect from that wave of force play and that, and that AOE mosh pit. Uh, so I, I, I think uh, if, if he can keep that up, that it is very possible uh, that Sith can continue to win these fights with that Vol playing super aggressive and that ETC kind of protecting her. Power slide onto Valimar, who kicks out. Troy trying to find their way to the far side of this. Doesn't manage to do so, but they still get the interrupt on that channel. That's a repulsion from Li Ming to force back Troy. They're trying to harass them. Portal coming out from Porky as well. Looks like they're going to try and engage into this. Tremor does have the channel, and I don't think they're going to be able to interrupt that right there. So five shots do rain out. That's going to be a 12 to 14 cores. Cast math almost kicked in. And uh, it's it's a close one here, Max. It keeps like, it's a close. very very close. It one. It keeps getting closer. It's it just seems like both teams are trying to figure out what in the world they're supposed to do to win. Um, <laughs> and it, it it's like where is where's our win condition? You know what what are we what are we trying to do? Uh, obviously, if what just happened continues to happen, the Jedi will be able to pick up this win. Tremor kind of caught out here, just taking a little bit of poke. Valmar doing a good job to pressure Chajuggy. The silence isn't able to connect from Legacy there, though. And the shield coming out from Porky, keep him Chujogi alive. Legacy's going to send him back to the base. Um, and now what really needs to happen is a retake on this bottom fort. And I don't know if it can. Uh, yeah. With the tower just, changes, Towers of Doom is yeah. really difficult now. It's like... it, it, it Most teams in this case... And it's the correct thing to do, in my opinion, is you just go to the top lane and push that. Right? You're no longer <laughs> invested in the bottom... Uh, you need to play to the side that you can win um, because at this point standing around here is wasting time so either head to the boss try to force that push out mid try to force that or head to the top lane probably the safer of all those options and sh start pushing that in um, or hope that yeah, the other team does camp and like you can find a window to start it too but unlikely Part of, part of the other thing, too, to consider here is, you know, the Sapper camps were just about to come back up, so they don't want to just... Because, like, I agree, like, you can definitely run through top lane, the, the enemy team will have to go deal with that, blah, 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 but with Sapper camps up and available like they are, this is kind of a different spot, a difficult yeah. spot to be in. And it looks like they're actually just going to say, we're going to try and get six shots in our favor uh, really quickly. 70% bonus lightning rod damage for that false set. For anyone wondering, that is a lot of bonus lightning rod damage. Power slide, there's also going to be a Lord Nato. Oh. There's going to be the mosh pit with the tour bus. They're just stalling them from getting the channel, and that's going to be the left hand side going over in favor to the members of the sith as false that flies in there's going to be a potential gust into oh the wall my. they're going to be locked into the wall that's going to be so much damage falls the first one to go down there's going to be a deckard cane and a oh my everyone's falling here vesper's going to try and get out alive as you can see the help pings repulsion pulls them back they're going in they don't care absorption will be used they're going to be tanking tower shots chen going to try and drink through the pain Yurel jumps over the wall sappers do rain in through the bottom lane over there so it's a nine to eight core health they take the mid lane they can rotate to top and potentially get themselves the barrage but i think they're saying let's get an easy four shots into this enemy core and take them down to a game ending potential win and that's how we win i'm the, sorry that's how we win the I'm game sorry. Uh -huh. i completely missed i completely missed that there's one bell tower still up so no that's ggs that's right GG, there yeah the jedi will beat the sith in game five <laughs> gg well played i didn't even see that last altar i thought it was just boss i thought we were up for a little bit longer no. what a game what a series, though.
Wrong that was a, that was fun. Oh my god, was that fun? The Jedi with their backs to the wall pull out the wombo combo of the universe. I gotta say, I gotta say right now, got filth MVP right there For from sure. that game. That that wind tunnel gust into the wall, the angle, ever it was just. There's been a lot of chef kisses. That's that's I'm saying, and that's my one. That yeah, it's that you know, and it's funny because I was saying like you know how do we win this game, right? Like that's what the teams are asking, and like a three man wind tunnel into that little baby wall in the middle Ooh. of Towers of Doom, that then follows up a silence. Lee Mean Grease says, <sighs> all Gross. all that good. Yeah, well played by side of the Jedi's. Uh, should we should we head in for a winners? Absolutely. Let's. Uh... I'll pull you into the top sure, chat. That'll work, great. Alrighty, congratulations on your victory, everybody. How you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm, glad you, I'm glad you're ecstatic. Um, I gotta ask you that that wind tunnel into the wall. Like, did you just see it? Did you just line it up, and you were like, "That's it. This is how we win the game right here, right now." Yeah, I just saw the angle, and I was like, "They, they die here. This is it." <laughs> that that is just wild and and I, like i was at, like to ask like what what were comms like at that time was it just like i have wind tunnel was it just chaos was it just like throw your damage uh we were just calling that i have gust and we have blessed going out and we just killed all of them <laughs> yeah god that, that was so gross um really good game really good game mac you have any questions yeah I, i'm uh <laughs> i'm interested in you guys feeling on etc like ooh, good yeah like is is he incredibly dominant uh because of all of his kit or is it because players aren't drafting accordingly to answer him like as as a team where you guys got ETC in one like let's say the Dragonshire game did you feel like the other team's draft was wasn't equipped to deal with the pick or do you think that the character is just oppressive i guess is my question Curious from uh, a player's point of view. Think, tank main perspective. Something that really helps EDC is EDC is really good against a lot of the tanks. Like he's really good against Diablo, Malganus, and Garrosh. And he's just like neutral to Johanna. So yeah. what do you what do you think is like the answer? Like if you're drafting against an ETC, are you drafting to answer him, or are you just ignoring him and just realizing that like there's not much that you can do other than he's going to exist? It depends on, like, their team. So they had Medivh the last game, so we were kind of, like, ignoring him for the most part and just looking to, like, bless Vala and Medivh. But if they didn't have that, like, dive defense, you know, then we would look to just blow him up a lot more. Yeah. Uh, generally, you want to punish ETC slides if he goes in or um, just ignore him, and we only ignored him that time. Yeah, you guys actually did a good job of... Were you surprised that Vala was... You were able to pick Vala so easily? We were just really active on calling shields, so anytime Medivh yeah. shielded anything else was immediately when we engaged on gotcha. the other target. Makes sense. Yeah, no, the shot calling was consistent and good throughout the evening. It was just, it was really good back and forths. Um, I want to talk about the Sky Temple game. Like, I'm, I'm sure you guys want to forget that one, but um, the the power of Sylvanas, like, is that is that right there, like, a good showcase of, like, how first pick, first band worthy she is, or is it just... That composition was just so hard to get in because they had so much, you know, boop potential, as we were saying on stream. Uh, the air is just really impressive. When you have Sylve, you can just run it down, and there's nothing you can do about it. There's not really any hero that outpushes Sylve. Yeah. On that map, they just had the URL dual soak, and mm -hmm. they didn't really have anything to just respond to them top, and they just bodied us, really. The is pretty OP. And then once you get a level lead on that map, it's just like snowball. Yeah, because then you can't fight over shrines, it can't be even, and then you have to give it, and then yeah, yeah, it's just constant. You know, you're you're just catching up. So it's just it's just interesting. Just interested in your perspective from from that game. Um, Mac, any other follow up questions for you? I think I'm good. I, I'm I'm happy to know that you guys are actively looking to one shot ETC. I just feel like mm -hmm. a lot of teams <laughs> aren't looking to do that, um, especially considering players and teams tend to draft. I mean, in this case, like. Deckard is terrible at protecting one target, right? So, um, yeah, that's all. But congrats on the win tonight, guys. You guys played really well. Yeah. Do you have any? Uh, do you have any shoutouts that you'd like to give? Um, floor's all yours, friends. 
starting at the top? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, I guess I'll shout out twitch.tv forward slash freepx. <laughs> I'll I'll shout out twitch.tv diagonal slash freepx. Check it out. Uh, I'll shout out uh, you guys again. Uh, thanks for having us. These were uh, some pretty fun games. I know we've had uh, some three O's and things like that mm. in the past. So it's fun having a five game set that's actually back and forth. So mm -hmm. uh, thanks again for having us. And of course, twitch.tv slash freepx. Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah shout out twitch.tv slash vpx <laughs> shout out to you guys for casting twitch.tv slash vpx and porky nice Ooh, there you go. for, for there taking poly bomb every time he plays medivh <laughs> shout outs <laughs> oh yeah i also just wanted to say we like hard audibled into uh the judgment uh, Hinderlands and did not pay off. We noticed. We, we we saw the attempt and we we're very very happy. Like I'm happy about it. Like I was just I was joking about it in chat. And Mac was like, please no. And then he's like, well, actually maybe. And then well, well we saw it. But um, yeah, we we figured at at that point it was like boss control doesn't matter because we'll take a boss and they'll just take our top keep. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. had to try and do something respectable. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, these were these were awesome games. Thank you so much for for the interview. Thank you for the for the matches. You all have a wonderful night, and congratulations on your uh, your first place. Your your three one. The Jedi's have uh, won this week. Perfect. Gg's guys. Nice. You... <laughs> Gg's. 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 All right, I have pulled you. Cool. Yeah, the Jedi's. They represented them well. I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, good no, series, they played good series between the both of these teams. Honestly, both teams had I think exceptionally well played games. Um. I think it was Legacy, I want to say, if I've recognized his voice at this point. He mentioned that the games tonight were really close, um, yeah. which sometimes with these in-house league games, you know, we're randomly drafting these teams and putting players together with players that they have played with before, but, you know, never the same. And to see two teams come together that create a great series like we got to watch tonight is, is really nice to watch, right? And I think all of us can, um, you know, not only applaud them, but... Uh, bask in the fact that we do get to still watch fun competitive heroes here every monday night um with the heroes hearth in-house league so just yeah, o overall excited for that you know if you're sitting at home and you're like wait there's been seven weeks of this yeah yeah <laughs> there's been seven weeks and if you're wondering uh, about any of the vods if you want to watch any of the old games you can go um there's actually a ccl youtube page the here's our ccl youtube page if i'm not mistaken which has a mm -hmm. lot of the competitive games on them from from this to, to previous season of ccl um and then on the main heroes hearth page there's there's really good build video or excuse me there's really good um teaching videos like uh there's everything. how to play garden of terror yeah how to how to build draft videos how, there's meme yeah, there videos are videos, yeah, yep. there's, there's, want... there's good like there's highlight videos like gg no heels like yeah. honest to god honest to god like if, if you're gonna go watch one here's a storm game go watch the the one that came out today on the heroes Heart page because <laughs> i was laughing i was laughing so hard at that and that's actually a really good example of judgment hinterlands and many other things that's, so, we, we were light bomb judging yeah yeah, it was, yeah yeah it was it was a deliciously just it, oh god it was such a good game to watch like it was just yeah. like this is some this is some quality here's the storm but there's a lot of good content out there um, wednesdays Mac, too other, wednesdays yeah, we have, Wednesdays we have starting Wednesdays. at starting at 10 a.m. PDT. Nope. So it's one o'clock if you're on the East Coast. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> one o'clock if you're on the East Coast. Uh, it starts with Grubby Rank EU win, and then at uh, God, I'm trying to do caster four, math right four, now. Four, four, four EDT. Four EDT. It's gonna be uh, how we do with Mac and Trixler, Alora, yeah. some, some other friends, and then. And then at uh, seven, seven o'clock EDT, <laughs> we're doing. Uh, we have the dream team, which is going to be Kai yes, Mockery, Kyle Ferguson, Totsky, and all that good. Potentially myself, but um, there's a whole lot of good content that's going to be on Wednesday on this channel. Um, otherwise, like if people on Tuesday were like, "I want more heroes content," Mac, where can people find content you're making? That is, uh, I mean, that content in general. Yeah. So. <laughs> I know that with Heroes of the Storm, there's been we've 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 made a lot of good, you know, our our YouTube channel, like Bob was just talking about, we have videos 
kind of uploading every day. So if you're looking for just any sort of general content, I would definitely head to the Heroes Earth YouTube. Um, and then obviously we're uploading these CCLs. So we do have some stuff coming up for you guys, hopefully soon um, on some exciting Heroes of the Storm things. So make sure to follow us at Twitter um, and yeah, here uh, as we continue to update you guys with all the fun stuff that we have planned for Heroes of the Storm. We're not giving up on this game. It's too much fun to... So as long as you guys keep hanging out and supporting, we're going to still be here creating the best content that you guys can find um, on the here on, on the internet, honestly, for Heroes of the Storm. So thanks for supporting yeah. us and, and hanging out. And shout out to Baja for casting beside me as I, as I just bash <laughs> players and builds and... <laughs> just bashing Great Man and ETCs left God, and right. Just, they just, it's just all so gross. <laughs> ah! No, but yeah, thank you, thank you. Well, you can find me, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, Bahamut Gaming. If you'd like to tune in, I do a lot of ha Here's the Storm casting and content. Sometimes we break off into other games. But um, you can find me typically Monday through Thursday casting, whether it's on this channel, whether it's on mine. And, uh, yeah, those are all the places you can find me. But until Wednesday, um, stay tuned. There's a, there's, a lot of good, there's a lot of good information out there. I guess, I guess can, we, can, we, can we just say announcement of an announcement? Like, is, yeah, is something, that like, it? something like that. Announcement of an announcement. There you go. So Be there. Yeah, just keep, keep, your, keep your eyes peeled. There's, there's some cool stuff happening in the background. Um, we love all of you. Uh, so, yeah, swing by at 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 7 o'clock EDT on this channel Wednesday for some wonderful Heroes of Storm action all day. And uh, until then, and until next Monday, for more in-house league, we'll see you in the next. Have a wonderful night and stay safe out there, friends. Good night, everyone.